Hey guys, this is Kellen Ballion and this is Tech Savvy. Um, our next story here is that screens just keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, and we're not just talking about TVs, although that is definitely one of the ones that we're gonna talk about here first. Um, so right now, the average TV size that was sold in 2020 was a 65 inch TV. So I remember when I was a kid, you know, our TV at the house was probably somewhere between like 36 inches or something like that. And that was big back in the day. Again, I'm 35 years old and this is probably, I'm talking about the early nineties, uh, and you know, early to late nineties, which again, you know, if you had a, a 50, 60 inch TV back then you had a $10,000 TV, which is now much much more affordable nowadays i think i got a, a a 70 inch on black friday for about 300 bucks so again they have come down drastically over the you know over the years potentially even exponentially um they just keep coming down and tv makers want that average uh, 65 inch purchase to go up to 80 inches and um they're actually, you know, they believe that in 2021, uh, this is going to be the year where that could be possible, where the the average sale of a TV is going to be somewhere between 85 inches plus. Um, I don't know if that is really going to be the average. It might be more on the, the high end. But again, I haven't really seen too many people with 85 inch TVs. But at the end of the day, if the price does come down enough to where you have the room and you can afford it, why not, I guess, you know? Um, also, a lot of these new TVs, they're working on 8K right now. So again, most people, all we've ever seen is 4K. They just straight up missed and jumped right over 6K and they went to 8K. Um, the thing about it is, is if you buy an 8K t TV right now or in the next year, there's no actual TV content uh, or streaming content, for, for that matter, in 8K. Um, there, the only place you actually find 8K content right now is on YouTube. So it's gonna be very, very limited to just you know some videos on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, and they are talking about enhancing 4K TV and, and 4K to content so that it'll look better and you know these 8K TVs will be able to show this better resolution um, and this enhanced 4K on their TVs where again, when you just have a normal 4K TV, it won't be able to show this enhanced 4K. Um, so at the end of the day, bigger TVs, I think are gonna be just the norm. They're gonna keep getting bigger, but another screen that you might not be noticing that's getting bigger around you is the screen in your car. So these again are also getting bigger and bigger. I'm sure you've noticed maybe that TV in the middle of your screen or if you've ever seen like a Tesla or the new like Prius Prime, they've got these giant iPad looking screens um, in their dashboards. Uh, and on one end of the spectrum, it makes things easier to see. Uh, but on the other side, is it really safe to be driving around with a 15 inch TV right in front of you? Um, a AAA survey that was done in 2019 will say possibly no. And uh, what it actually showed was that it's definitely a distraction for drivers and especially for elderly drivers over the age of 65, especially if they're not too tech savvy, they could be trying to you know, swipe through and try to find the setting that they're trying to find. And it could be very, very distracting for these people um, when they're driving. And again, um, is this gonna make it to a point where they need to make laws that auto manufacturers need to follow with the size of the screens. They haven't done anything like this yet, but um, as screens get bigger and more reporting gets done, this is definitely something that could happen in the future. Um, there was actually a, a quote by a car manufacturer saying that they're um, wel welcome to the era where the screen is king and 
analog buttons are disappearing. So again, you might not be able to have volume buttons, any kind of seek or, you know, there's no tune buttons anymore. It's all gonna just be digital and that's just gonna be the new normal. Um, Mercedes-Benz is actually debuting their 56 inch curved hyper screen. Um, you can you see that on the screen right now and it is pretty beautiful needless to say but again is it necessary i probably don't think so and is it going to be a distraction for the driver as well as passengers possibly um but again only time will tell this car is still a prototype so it's not actually created yet it's good they are debuting this in their new electric electric full electric vehicle so you know what do you guys think is this a cool thing or is this a dangerous thing? I think it's a little bit of both, but I think at the end of the day, it's gonna be about how people use them and how focused they are on them when they drive. Um, the Mercedes-Benz screen is actually, uh, they have a built-in eye tracker so that they could actually see where your eyes are being focused and kind of try to redirect you back to looking at the road. So again, they are gonna be having safety features built directly into them. But again, it's gonna be interesting to see what this uh, technology does for cars and what we're gonna see in the next five years. Um, our last story here, but definitely not least, is about Coinbase. Um, if you guys are into cryptocurrency at all, you'll, you're probably definitely familiar with this uh, company. Um, but they're actually going to be suspending trading on one of the apps, or I mean one of the cryptocurrencies right now that they have in their app um, and on their website. That currency or that crypto uh, coin is XRP. So we actually touched a little bit on XRP on the last episode and how they're in a lawsuit right now. And this is all due to the lawsuit. So actually this is gonna go into effect on Tuesday the 19th. So depending on when you're watching this, it could have already happened or maybe you're a day ahead. Um, but basically this is, they don't know when it's gonna end. It's basically just gonna be till the lawsuit is cleared up and it's gonna be completely contingent on whether you know the verdict goes in favor of Ripple or against. Um, and I'm sure if it does, go uh in favor they'll you know they're gonna you know uh let trading resume on the platform but until then you're gonna still be able to hold your uh xrp on coinbase if you do have it um you just won't be able to buy anymore and again you'll still be able to use it as an xrp wallet so if you have xrp somewhere else you'll be able to send it to this wallet and again hold it um for however long they're gonna be suspending this for. Um, as far as um, the price of XRP to date, you know, being in, you know, how, how it's reacted to this SEC lawsuit, the, the value has gone down about 50% um, from about 60 cents, 65 cents to now about 30 cents. So um, it's definitely gone down. And this is a while most of the other cryptocurrencies, you know, including uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, Litecoin, these have mostly all doubled their value in the last, you know, two months, month or month and a half. So while all these other cryptocurrencies are skyrocketing during this bull run, XRP has lost half of its value, which is uh, very concerning. A lot of people are, you know, selling off their XRP and, you know, it could be a good move, but at the end of the day, if XRP does win this lawsuit, there could be a huge, uh, you know, price increase. There have been some, you know, I think we mentioned this on the last episode that there was another cryptocurrency uh, provider that was sued, and there after the lawsuit, their um, value went up about two thousand percent, which I'm sure XRP owners will be super happy with if that's the case. Um, the legal battle has yet to even begin, and they're still uh, waiting to begin the discovery phase of the lawsuit. Um, but there are, you know, talks and possibilities that they could settle out of court before the lawsuit actually even starts. Um, 
So guys, do you own any XRP? Is this something that you're looking at? Is this something that's on your radar? Um, have you sold it? Are you holding on to it? You know, what are your thoughts on XRP and this lawsuit that's going on? This is kind of all pretty unprecedented stuff, especially at this scale. Um, XRP is the third, I think maybe actually fourth now, the fourth largest um, cryptocurrency on the market when it comes to uh, market uh, value. So and market capacity. So at the end of the day, guys, just be wary. This is, you know, this is not considered uh, investment advice at all. And I'm not a, uh, a financial advisor in any capacity. So again, if you guys do choose to invest or hold uh, any kind of cryptocurrency, it's gonna be uh, completely up to you guys. And I just wanna hear what you guys think. But at the end of the day, investments are very lucrative and you know on the stock market and in cryptocurrency so guys um you know i definitely am a little bit invested not in uh in any particular cryptocurrency that we've spoken about but um you know i do invest a little bit in the cryptocurrency space and uh it's been very very lucrative so um i would i would recommend just looking into it and doing your own research um, all right, guys, that is today's episode of Tech Savvy. Um, again, my name is Kellen Ballion. You can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and uh, I'd love to talk with any of you guys. If you guys add me, I'll definitely add you back, and you guys can message me and ask me kind of any questions you guys like. I'd, I'd love to you know, converse with our viewers here. Other than that, guys, again, this episode is brought to you by 400 Marketing. So if you guys have any questions or you know just want to jump on that free consultation, give them a call at this number and set up your call today. Again, it's completely free. They'll walk you through their 10-point revenue checklist. And again, guys, if you're not using one of these 10 that's on this checklist, I highly recommend a lot of them are actually free to use. So I would definitely recommend jumping on these opportunities, especially now where um, digital marketing and digital presence, uh, digital reputation, all of it is so, so, so important for people just to find you online and actually get them to walk through your doors or give you guys a call to place an order. Um, again, give them a call. Foreign Marketing will have uh, help you with any questions you guys have answered. Other than that, guys, if you haven't already, download the Togetherness Media app because you'll be able to check out all their, you know, all the shows on the channel as well as get updates, you know, quote daily quotes, or just a whole bunch of cool, inspirational content that is just going to help you um, learn a little bit while also getting the most out of uh, out of your daily life. And that's what we're here for at. Um, at Togetherness Media. So guys, again, my name's Kellen. You are tech savvy, and I will see you on another episode. All right, guys, have a great one. Bye.